Hey, shalom guys, it's Watch. Welcome back to OTH. And if you just heard that ping, that is my uh, canned chicken breasts as they're cooling down and uh, all the lids are, lids are setting. Uh, that's what that ping noise is. And so <clears throat> we were recently blessed with uh, an overabundance of chicken thighs. And so, oh, maybe I was saying breasts earlier. <laughs> If I was, I meant to say thighs. But anyways, chicken thighs. And so um, we are canning them so that uh, deer season is coming up and we want to be able to take some deer and put that in the freezer. And so we need to make room in the freezer. So we're going to can the chicken. And um, this is uh, our first batch right here. We've already done, I think, uh, 35 quarts in... Here's one of the next batches that's uh, sitting in the canner heating up right now. And um, this is the way I usually do it. I don't want my jars to crack. And so, you know, you put your cans in, you put your water in there first, put your cans in there, and then you start heating them up together. And uh, it helps reduce the risk of um, your cans breaking if you, if you do that. If you're wondering how many chicken thighs you can get in a quart jar, it's about four, depending on the size of them. Uh, if they were smaller, you know, you might be able to get five. But <clears throat> most of these thighs that I had, some of them were quite large and I could only get three of them in there and still, you know, have my one inch headspace on top. And as far as the uh, canning process on these that I like to use, just dry pack. Um, <clears throat> most of the chicken you're going to get nowadays is injected with a uh, salt brine anyways and so there's already a lot of salt and water that's you know injected into the meat. Uh, it's a preservative you know helps it last longer but um, it also makes it way more. <laughs> but uh, of course you know you paid by chicken by the pound so that's why that's funny to me anyways maybe not to you. So you don't need to add any water I mean you can see that you know these are completely full of water each one and you know they were filled up to the top you know to a safe headspace of one inch below the, the rim but um, you don't need to add water and then um, for spices I like to just use seasoning salt uh, I'll put about a teaspoon of seasoning salt in each can and uh, I think this time I ran out of uh, seasoning salt and so what I used was um, steak master or something like that you know just to kind of uh, uh, grilling meat seasoning that uh, uh, tastes pretty good on, on chicken we use it when we grill chicken so we added that uh, to it as well in some of these and you can see the, the big chunks of the spices that are in there but uh, so far it's it's all working wonderfully and you can see where looks like we need to bump it up just a little bit or a little below 11 pounds of pressure so we're gonna have to Heat it back up a little, just a little bit before we start our time in 90 minutes. So uh, at my altitude and, and whatnot, need 11 pounds of pressure at 90 minutes. But uh, this is just kind of an update video too. Uh, we're all still here. We're doing fine and uh, keeping on, keeping on. So uh, hope you guys are all doing well and blessed and we'll talk to you soon. Shalom.